Good morning, everybody. It's Cheryl from Cheryl's Organic Food Forest. Today, I'm going to show you some of the fruit trees in my fruit orchard, as well as some of my grapevines and wild trees. You're looking at the blooms on my new gooseberries. And here are a few clusters of my Concord grapes. And that's a look at that uh, gooseberry bush. They are also called aronia berries. Uh, pear is doing really good. I'm watching this one real closely because I pruned it very heavily last year uh, because it had a uh, it had fire blight. Over here is the Santa Rosa plum. That start the brother sent me for a replacement. Here are my um, Concord grapes, and I'll put a picture right in here so you can see that this first one over here is doing real well, and the muscadines right there are leafing out. Um, I have a lot of stuff going on, a lot of trees, but I don't want to put them on uh, in one video. This is the black turkey fig that I rooted pencil size cuttings. I put two of them in the ground. One of them is over there where the bananas are. And here are some native Texas trees. Uh, wild plum. Uh, I think this is a mulberry. No, elderberry. And this one is the uh, roni berries. And I took another picture of those flowers there. Here's another apple tree from Stark Brothers. Another put a stick in there. There's a, a jujube. It's not doing anything yet. Paw paws are just now coming to life. Um, so I, I have even more right over here in those uh, um, large containers. They look small in the video, but they're huge. Um, I'll show them to you soon. And I'm going to go right over here and show you my Washingtonian palm trees. I grew from seeds. One of the uh, merchants on eBay that I purchased my um, banana pups from sent me some complimentary seeds. This is a year old. This one right here is uh, six months old. So I'm very excited about them. Um, yeah. All the stuff in my garden, my garden beds are doing well. And here is a nectarine. Gotta get somebody to help me move it out into the food forest. Okay, I think that's enough for today. Unless, of course, you wanna see my key lime, Mexican key limes. They're doing real good. They're loaded with blooms. A little yellowing, that's because it's going through a transition from being in the greenhouse to outside. Here's my Miho Satsuma. No blooms on this tree yet. However, I'm going to put it in the ground because it could take temperatures down to 20. And um, I'm going to put it probably close to the greenhouse that will remind me to cover it on the few days when we have a few hours of uh, uh, below 20 degrees temperatures. The lemon trees are loaded with blooms. I still have in my freezer um, fruit from uh, last year and this year. This year? Yeah, this past winter. Out beautifully. And I have another one right back there. Well, you see my finger there. And then I have another tree here. This is a red delicious apple from Stark Brothers. I'm very excited about the uh, large Fuyu persimmon tree. Remember it dropped all of the fruit last year. I'm videotaping Bria and it came back beautifully. And to compliment it, I purchased from Stark Brothers a baby tree. Uh, it's a Yates. Uh, American uh, persimmon right there trees I have them situated close to the gala that's loaded with fruit this one is called a red delicious trademark by Stark Brothers on the dwarf stock and this one is 
a crimson crisp apple dwarf stock as well. Beautiful magnolia tree, so sir, magnolia. And here are my cherry trees, one right here and one right here. And these were replacement trees as well. I love Stock Brothers. This is the Black Tartarian Sweet Cherry. And this one is the Rainier. I don't know where the tag is, but I'm positive it's the Rainier. Here's my Utah Gold Pomegranate Tree. This is my fourth year. It's doing very well. Here's a picture of the bums that I got that were on life support at Lowe's last year. I only paid 50 cents and a dollar for them, and they came back. And here are my very first cucumbers of this year. And here's a little picture of Bria, my garden helper, my granddaughter. She turned four yesterday. And here's the clip of the party. <laughs> four years old. Four years old. Yay! Yay! If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching. Bye now.